Kevin Harlan alongside. Now we've got a chance for our State Farm starting lineups. First for the Thunder, the backcourt comprised of Russell Westbrook and Tabo Sakalosha. And in the paint, holding down the pivot of physical and cruising big man at 6'10", Big Perk, Kendra Perkins. And it's Durant, and it's Ibaka in at the power forward. And looking at the Cavaliers, Irving and Waiters in the back. And inside, Anderson Verishaw, the big Brazilian, a terrific rebounder and defender. Always brings great energy. Then there's C.J. Myers, and it's Thompson in a power forward position. How about the trade that Cleveland made a year and a half ago with the Clippers? And they basically gave up Mo Williams. They got Barry Davis and the number one overall pick in the draft, uh, which uh, turned into Kyrie Irving. So pretty good exchange there. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Following the score by Oklahoma City. And Waiters kicks to Miles. Offensive rebound. Outside Irving. Feeds to Miles. Back to Irving. We play just over a minute here in the first. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. You know, the Cavaliers released Baron Davis, freeing up cap space. Davis, of course, eventually signed with the New York Knicks. It really helped them accelerate in Cleveland Clark, the rebuilding process. And, of course, that being from where you're from, I'm sure you can really uh, identify with uh, what they're trying to do. And, uh, you know, you have a soft spot in your heart for Without question, Cleveland is my hometown. I always want to see that team do well. And a fresh start, good young rookies, cap space, they're on their way. Here's Waiters. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Shot clock at six. And that one's good, Irving. Irving's got his first points in this one. That's how you exploit that defense. Take the ball right to the basket. Durant off the pick from a lot. Here's Westbrook. And there's another one for the Thunder. Talk about a great start. Three of three from the field to get the game going. They're cooking with gas, folks. You know, you look at how dominant Russell Westbrook is statistically in just about every facet of the game. And the scary part is he's still learning how to play point guard. You know, he was a two guard at UCLA and really kind of a combo guard his first year in the league. But he's handling the ball and distributing and doing a better job than ever before. Now here is Cephalosha. Westbrook with it. He's picked up by Irving. Here's Perkins. That's good. And so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. The Cavaliers trail by four. Talk about Westbrook's upside. Still in his early 20s. He's yet to even enter his front. And, and the kid has expanded his game each and every season. And that's what I like about him. I know he's had some critics. And some of the criticism is justified. But it's over the top in many cases. And you've got to keep in mind the big picture. This is a young developing point guard who is already accomplished an awful lot in what I think is going to be a, an all-NBA type career. And Ibaka slams it in. There's one thing about the alley-oop. You can't fire the pass in there. You've got to have some air under that pass. It needs a little hang time. That's exactly right. A lot of finesse, uh, uh, just like that one was, perfectly thrown. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes the play so much fun to watch. There's finesse on the front end, but then power on the end. Now here's Perkins. The layup missed. That's what they call the million-dollar move with the 10-cent finish. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Byron Scott. He told me one of the more troubling tasks his team must do is to figure out how to slow down Russell Westbrook. He said that between his explosiveness and ability to change direction, they'll have to have all five guys keeping an eye on Westbrook whenever he's on the perimeter. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Those are shots he shouldn't be afraid to take. He can make them. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. The Thunder leading by three. Harden dishes to Westbrook. Kicks to Durant. Right side Durant. From 13 feet, it goes down. Durant's got six. You know, no matter what you do with Durant defensively, nothing bothers him. Uh, you, you try to be physical with him, you know, that's probably your best bet. But that's easier said than done because he can get around you with that speed and quickness. Uh, but really what he's looking to do is create space and shoot over the top. 
And you've just highlighted a lot of what he has from a skill standpoint. It's his demeanor, that unflappable nature, that always in attack mode. He's got the quick release. He's got the size to shoot over most in the, any defender. And uh, he can go for buckets in a hurry. He's streaky, but he's efficient as well as effective for long stretches. He's special. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Zeller is checked in for Verjean. Samuels comes in for Tristan Thompson. Caspi, he's checked in for C.J. Myers. And Daniel Gibson subbed in for Williams. Well, he did a nice job of getting himself into just enough of an open area to find that spot for his shot. And with the Thunder, this is Scott Brooks' first head coaching opportunity. And there's no question he's made the most of it. He's coach of the year back in 2010. And that team has so much stability uh, as an organization, but also as a coaching staff and as a roster. They seem to be getting better and better every year. Here's Zeller after Perry Jones' score. Caspi for three, and another three for Cleveland. And again, the lead changes hands. Yep, back and forth we go, Steve. I mean, back and forth, back and forth. Neither side caving in. Now, here is Harden. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. It has been all offense here early. It sure has been. I mean, both teams clicking, and it's been an entertaining game as well, guys. And the Thunder with some changes. Tristan Thompson comes in for Samardo Sanders. And it's Waiters in for Kyrie Irving. And for Coach Brooks, you really have to appreciate, Steve, the way he's gotten all the players to buy into being unselfish. Uh, that defensive first mentality. Yeah, no question. And give the general manager credit, too, for putting together a group of guys who are high character and who already have that gene in them to, to really want the team to do well. Led, of course, by Kevin Durant, the superstar who is also the backbone of this club, Russell Westbrook as well. Uh, but Brooks deserves a lot of credit. He's put this together, and he's made it work, and uh, really a nice situation in Oklahoma City. Here is Harden. Deion Waiters making his last shot. Just five to shoot. Harden. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. And Waiters with the stuff. Great finish there, Kevin. Took it strong to the cup. Yeah, an aggressive two-handed jam. And that's the kind you like, especially in traffic. you got to make sure. I've just got to say this. I mean, the Thunder fans have really been spoiled since the team moved to Oklahoma City. Four years in, and they've made the playoffs in all but the first season. They grabbed their own miss. Thompson misses. Thunder trailing by three. Harden the pass to Maynard. Back to Harden. Let's it go with the three. The basket good off the assist from Maynard. Harden's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Back to Oklahoma City. He made the playoffs. Gone deep more often than not. And talk about winning over a city when they relocated Steve from Seattle. They have done that and more. Well, that city has really embraced the franchise, Kevin, and it, it helps when you've got Guys like Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, who are not only phenomenal players to watch, but uh, really good people who the community can embrace. So I think the, uh, the the love affair between the team and the community is going to last a long time. And here is Waiters. James Harden getting it to go from G. He feeds it to Waiters. They get a hand on it. And now it's Westbrook running. He can go all the way. They shoot again, and easy two points on the way. Tell you what, he can be an offensive force when he's on top of his game, guys, and he usually is on top of his game. The first quarter, all that up, and it's been an exciting game. Well, up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. After the Thunder guys, what stands out to you so far? Just the start they wanted to this game. Solid offense, they got good ball movement, they established a nice rhythm. Yeah, not stagnant at all. Free-flowing and fluid at the offensive end. Now here's Durant. And the shot is good. Durant's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Thunder. Kevin Durant, three-time NBA. Actually, he's led the NBA in scoring the last three seasons. Remarkable when you consider how young this guy is. Here is Caspi. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Durant, the youngest ever scoring champion back in 2010, so naturally, 
Uh, also the fastest of three scoring titles as well, Steve. Well, and to think that he's been able to accomplish everything that he has, and he's still in his early 20s, it's just amazing. Of course, leading his team to the finals a year ago as well. He's become one of the most dominant players in the league, and the scary thing is he's only going to get better. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, from his first days in the NBA, Kyrie Irving has never seemed intimidated. Irving says, I'm probably one of the most competitive people ever. I want to go out there and destroy people. It's fun to me. And that comes mainly from my father. Guys, when Irving was nine, his dad drove him across from New Jersey to New York to play on some of the toughest courts and gave him a pep talk in the car. Never be afraid of anyone or afraid to fail. His father said, I knew there was another gear in him, and he had to embrace it. Kevin, it sure worked. That's right, Doris. Thanks. Man, what you love about Kyrie Irving, Kevin, is that he combines that fearlessness and competitive drive with a level of poise that's beyond his years. And when you talk about your point guard, so really the quarterback of your team, that's a great attribute. And that'll be Oklahoma City as it goes on the bounce. Thunder retain possession. For the Cavaliers, Anderson Verishaus checked in for Zeller. Tristan Thompson comes in for Samardo Samuels. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Casper. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Collison. Durant comes in for Jones. Tavo Cephalosha has checked in for Daquan Cook. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Eric Main. Pretty bad defense letting the offense get right to the rim, but Smart played a foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen, and they send a message right there. Nothing easy inside. Waiters is checked in for Cleveland. Kendrick Perkins is checked in for the Thunder. Fires high post. Here's Harrison. Takes it up for the stuff. Look at that effort. Does he set a great example out there or what? On plays like that, he does. Sure, what, what work on the offensive pass we see with him. Yeah, that was awesome. Put back with the slam. Are you kidding me? Now here is Cephalosha. It's Durant on the wing. He dishes it to Cephalosha. Westbrook. Ibaka with the screen on Irving. Westbrook kicks to Ibaka. Stolen by Verja. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Oh, oh, no. oh man, that was a real hard it up. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. I'd say, I mean, eight lead changes, that speaks for itself. Mm, yeah, it's back and forth start for sure. This game is setting up to be awfully competitive. They get it back. This game very well could come down to a few possessions, and if that's the case, rebounding could play large. Yeah, in a close game like this one, securing the ball is so vital. Throwing it down with one hand and making it look easy. Easy and fun. He just thrives on making the deal of silly. Yeah, which is something he does pretty often, Kevin. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Well, part of being one of the elite teams in the league is making sure you handle business you know, when you head out on the road. And one area where Oklahoma City was fantastic last year was their record against Eastern Conference opponents on the road. They dominated. Thunder trailing by three. Westbrook wishes to Durant. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. That's ten points for Kevin Durant. Cavaliers have gotten all but one of their seven shots in the second quarter to drop. Pretty impressive. You know, Steve, they really were great against the East going 13 and 5 on the season. In fact, not a lot of teams gave them trouble. Well, when you have the number of shooters that the Thunder have, it can be really hard for a team to figure out how you guard them if you only see them once or twice a year. And the Thunder took full advantage of that. Eric Maynard, he's checked in for Kendrick Perkins. And Waiters gets to Irving. Three-pointer gets the bucket. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. He can be dangerous from out there. As a matter of fact, he can be lethal. His first from the arc after having none in the first quarter. Keep an eye on him. And Durant, here we go. Stolen by Thompson. Waiters passes to Verge. Ibaka with some nice D. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. You know, every team needs a stopper out on the perimeter, Kevin. There's so many great offensive players in this league, so you've got to have a guy who can shut people down. That's what Cephalosha does. He's savvy, he's long-armed, he's quick laterally, and he knows how to defend. Yeah, one thing that Tabo always had is that defensive calling card, guys, that great defensive presence. It isn't easy finding guys out on the perimeter. Play like him. 
and this team is lucky to have him. Getting his hands in passing lanes, deflecting passes, always around the ball, lockdown defense, invaluable player. Kevin Durant is one of those guys we would call just a basketball junk. You can't get enough of the game. You remember during the lockout, he made a name for himself in all those street ball tournaments and pro-am games. Fun for him and a great way to really embrace the fans, and he put on a show everywhere he went. Seems like he went up against LeBron a couple times. I some think of those they venues. did go head to head. <laughs> and the Cavaliers with possession here. James Harden getting it to go from deep. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Seth Alosha up high to stuff the alley oop. What a play. No regular dunk there. A superb alley oop. And it was a great pass, too, to set him up. No, those two have such a great feel for each other. Uh, they're just fun to watch play together. Here is Caskey. He has five. Vera Zhao setting the pick for Irving. And Caskey picks to Irving. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. For three, Gibson. The shot no good. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Going back to Durant staying active and connecting with his fans that summer, he dropped in on a college flag football game. I recall Steve in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Yeah, how cool would that be to be an intramural quarterback and you get to throw the ball up top to Kevin Durant with those long arms? That's a pretty easy throw to make. And that one's good. Time called here. The Thunder decides to talk it over. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Zeller is checked in for Barry Shot. Samuels comes in for Tristan Thompson. And it's C.J. Miles in for Kyrie Irving. And then for Oklahoma City, Nick Collison's checked in for a bucket. Jones comes in for Kevin Durant. And Daquan Cooks subbed in for Tabo Cephalosha. You know, he's given them a nice scoring option through most of this game. Gibson against Westbrook. Samuels dishes to Gibson. Westbrook with the steal. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Guys, as you know, this Oklahoma City Thunder team made it all the way to the finals last year. A great achievement for a team so young. And of course, they still have plenty of room to grow. One big area is improving their passing. Last season, they were dead last in the league in assists. A lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball making up their offense. Forward Nick Collison said, what's going to make us an elite team is being able to play together and share the basketball. I think the higher we go in that statistic will be good for us. Being able to get more wins in a tough playoff series when the defense is really good. You have to be able to move the ball, and that's what we have to focus on. Kevin, they're trying to make a move in that direction. Doris, we saw that in San Antonio in that series. It almost seemed like they started to incorporate some of the Spurs' great passing into their offense. Just getting better. What a beautiful pass. And then the catch and finish all in one motion, stupendous. An alley-oop like that, Clark, is just so rare. You just got to take a second and enjoy it. And guys, you have to admire someone with the confidence to even attempt the pass. Boy, that's hard-nosed sandpaper basketball right there. A lot of little friction in there, Oh, partner. I love the way you described that. Was <laughs> it? Nobody was going to get to the rim but him. Oh, man, with the violent putback to finish it off. You know, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. they got to be physical. they got to man up in there. I agree. I mean, you look at the points they're giving up. Most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. Passes it to Miles. It's deflected. And that concludes the first half. It's the Thunder. 